r slash ask credit what do the rich buy that the poor don't even know is available for purchase you can rent celebrities for your private events not just musicians but bona fide actors and actresses super rich guy in bel air used to host his kid's birthday party in late october so they went all out for a halloween themed party everyone at the kids school was invited plus their own friends each year they'd hire some fantastic athlete to appear at the event one year it was tony hawk another year it was some olympic gold medal gymnastic winners the one that threw me was when they hired demi moore anthony kettis and benicio de toro to be guests at the party to hang out and pretend they were friends with the kid mind you this was a kid's halloween party set outside in a huge massive garden spread out over tennis courts and lawns with games buffets dessert tables taco stands omelet stands barbecue pizza burgers etc no booze no one allowed inside all the event staff were dressed in halloween costumes it was very cool but it was sad to see kettis and Toro sitting together commiserating you could see the duck the things we do for a paycheck look on their faces they were at a kid's party for f's sake demi was very nice she brought her little doggies a while back some guy on here was talking about his experience working as a sort of personnel manager for a billionaire and how things are just wildly different for them the specific example he used was how things work when these people want to go on a trip and give any notice at all to their employees what happens is that an advanced team gets sent ahead by a few days to scope out the rented bot location and report back exact dimensions for closet space, drawer space, etc. People back at the home go through the clothing, jewelry, etc. and draw up a priority list which is sent to the advanced team. The advanced team then spends the next two days purchasing the list of items. Entire wardrobes, jewelry sets, makeup kits, bathing supplies, etc anything they cannot get not enough time or as one of a kind like the family heirloom watch the rich dude wears every now and then is relayed to the house team the family's schedule is arranged such that the moment the family leaves the house on the day of travel a whole team of people rushes through and packs up all the remaining items only after the family leaves you wouldn't want to deny them access to their items for even a few seconds which are then sent ahead to the airport while the family has a lunch or something somewhere. Upon landing, their luggage takes one route, direct, and the family takes a similarly indirect route, unless otherwise directed, such that by the time they get to the location all of their items are not just unpacked, but in their proper organized locations and ready for use without any of the advanced team ever being visible to the family. What happens when the family leaves the location? The same situation in reverse, but quite frequently all of the re-purchased items are just disposed of in some method. It's just easier, if not cheaper, to rebuy them each time the family goes somewhere if they aren't traveling to too many different locations in quick succession. This is some pharaohs of Egypt level stuff. How are these billionaires even functional people when literally everything is done for them in life? A person to go to jail for you in your stead. This is a known phenomenon in Latin America but I imagine it happens in other places as well. Certainly amongst the Yakuza it happens. I knew a guy who did 8 years for his boss and got paid. I don't see it on here. But the vast majority of financial products are out of reach for all but the rich. One reason the rich get richer is that they have access to investments that we've never heard of. Ever seen the big short. Why do you think Goldman Sachs took a week to correctly price? Dr. Michael Burry's housing short position? Because they were securing that position for themselves and their clients. Those financial instruments are so complicated and the regulation on them so Byzantine that it wouldn't surprise me if Goldman actually didn't do anything illegal. Like they're allowed, at their discretion, to mis-price an asset for a certain period of time. Probably under the guise of the assets being too complicated to price. But really it's just a buffer for them to get an edge that regular people couldn't believe. Imagine going to a horse race and being able to bet on the horses near the end of the race. Rich people get that. Private banks. Rich people use banks like Chase. But they don't bank through regular branches. Instead they use Chase private banking. 
They never wait on hold for a banker to pick up the phone. They get same-day access to their deposits, lines of credit, etc. Deposit $3 million into your checking account and you'll get a call from your bank's private banking group. Private boarding gate at certain airports. Complete with showers, a spa, full bar, lounge, food, a bed, gym, sauna etc. Total privacy. Your luggage is scanned and taken through security by a concierge. And you're driven to the plane in a BMW 8 Series. LAX has them now. Yeah but then when you get on the plane, you're still stuck in the cattle car of first class with all the other plebeians. The animals in the back are even still breathing the same air as you. Clearly a private jet is the only civilized way to travel. Actual smart homes. The Alexa, Google Home market is bringing it more mainstream. But for decades the wealthy elite have had smart home functionality through companies like Crestron. The controls go far beyond controlling your lights and thermostat. And integrate with more technologies. I had a buddy who hired a driver got him to get a chauffeur's license, and then made sure his Jaguar was long enough to meet criteria as a limo. And then he could legally drink in the backseat. When I traveled with him internationally, someone met us at the door when we were dropped off, and they walked us to our plane. None of that customs security stuff occurred. Everyone knows about mega yachts, but the very rich also enjoy their own trains, or at the very least private super luxurious train cars. With their budgets it isn't expensive to rent space on freight lines and an engine. Assuming they don't own their own. Sometimes a group of friends will hook their private cars together and motor around a continent having a big party. Pet cloning. Ex-boss was getting his dog cloned for $100,000. Oh, I've heard of this. There's a company in Texas that does it kinda regularly apparently now. $25,000 for a cat. $50,000 for a dog. It's something like a $1,000 to $2,000 deposit just for them to send your vet the kit to obtain bio samples and to store the material. You pay the rest of it whenever you're ready to clone your critter. Edit. The company is called Via Gen if anyone's curious. Poor people. This is basically how Dubai was built almost overnight. Specialized household staff. When someone is truly mega rich, running their household takes the same complexity as running a small to mid-size company. And management is skilled and compensated accordingly. Don't think butler. Think head of operations at a luxury hotel. The staff that household managers oversee can be really specialized as well. For example, Larry Ellison has his own personal curator to oversee his collection of Asian art. They do things like, advise on the purchase and sale of art in his collection, oversee storage and display of art housed on his property, oversee process of lending art for storage and display at museums. The curator will often have their own staff to conduct actual conservation work, art transport, art installation, etc. So if you've already got an in-house crew of seven people focused on your art collection alone, Imagine how big your entire household staff is. That's why you've got a household manager. Something they do that most people don't know about is buy entire libraries at once. My sister used to work at a bookstore and told me someone came in and wanted to furnish their library with a library size purchase of books. They just wanted cherry picked bestsellers left to the discretion of the people working there. It sounded wild. Edit. This place is a wealth of knowledge. And I'm here for it. Had no idea you could buy books by the foot. What a bizarre idea. Some wealthy people also buy books as decoration. With no intent of reading most of them. They buy books from wholesalers by the linear foot. Specifying how the books look on the shelves, size, color, material of spine, etc. Without any regard for what the books actually are. They just need to fill wall space in library, office rooms in their homes. A billionaire spending $50,000 a night, every day of the week, for an entire year, is about the same ratio as a guy with $1,000 in the bank spending $18 over the course of a year, or 20-ish cents a night. Edit. Uh, 
$73 over a year. Sorry I was slightly intoxicated and tired when I wrote that. Point still stands. Though. If you're willing to fork out $35,000 for the player and $500 per showing, you can watch films that are currently in theaters in your own private home theater. Wow who would have thought a private showing is only twice as much as a normal movie ticket. That's all folks, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please help the channel by smashing the like button and subscribing for more daily content.